Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So last night on the latest episode of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez were talking about the greatest Royal Rumble and why certain things happened. Dave Meltzer went on to say that the Prince of Saudi Arabia had some pretty interesting requests when it came to talent he wanted to see on the show. Now, interesting enough, the Prince of Saudi Arabia actually asked if the WWE can bring both Yokozuna, yes, Yokozuna, and the Ultimate Warrior to Saudi Arabia for the Greatest Royal Rumble show. Unfortunately, both of those men have passed away. Rest in peace. Meltzer then goes on to say that he believes that is why Hiroki Sumi was brought to the show to make up for not being able to bring Yokozuna, he's brought another sumo looking guy. As far as who was there to possibly replace the Ultimate Warrior, maybe it was just a bunch of the big guys they brought in from NXT. Also, the Prince of Saudi Arabia made it known to the WWE that he wanted the guys that do commentary that wear the big black hat and the crown. So that is why Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler were brought to the show. When the show was first announced though, they did state that Lawler and Ross would be doing commentary for the show and why they were moved to just the kickoff panel is unknown. But that just shows that they wanted the WWE to come there, they wanted to do this big event, they wanted to put it on for their country. They didn't even know the product, they didn't even know that Ultimate Warrior and Yokozuna have passed away. I just found that very, very funny and very, very interesting. So if we do hear anything else on WWE, the relationship with Saudi Arabia, and anything else like this going forward, we'll have it for you right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, subscribe here on YouTube, and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.